What's up guys? Welcome to the uh, Driven Mad YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to teach you how to drive a manual transmission. Now there's a lot of these videos on YouTube but I feel like that's okay because you know you get more of a variety uh, and you get to see different people's techniques and I feel like that's a good thing when you're trying to learn how to do something. But before we get started you want to make sure that you are in an area that is open you know, not a lot of traffic. Maybe it's a, a you know a mall parking lot um, or a deserted parking lot, and a quiet neighborhood with not a lot of traffic. Some place where you're not having to worry about being in someone's way, stalling in front of people, and kind of slowing them down. Where all you need to focus is just driving. So, um, yeah. So the fir very first thing is when you're starting the car, it's a good idea to make sure that your handbrake is on. If it's an electronic parking brake, that's really easy. You just press a button and it'll tell you. Um, and then make sure that the car is in neutral because you don't want it to be in gear and then accidentally let out on the clutch and then stall it. So if you can do this, you're good. And then it's pretty simple. You just start the car, put the key in, and depress the clutch fully, and then start it. And now once the car is started and you've made sure that it's in neutral, you can take your foot all the way off the clutch, nothing's going to happen. Now to get the car moving, what we're going to do is we're going to depress the clutch all the way, grab the shifter, put it into first gear. Then once you're doing that, you want to make sure that the e-brake is off. So make sure that that is down. So the car is now in gear and get your foot on the clutch. And now one of the things about the clutch is that there is an engagement point where you can just, you can keep it there and the car will roll. Unless you're on a hill, the car will start to move forward without you adding any gas or doing anything. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to find that sweet spot just and get used to where it is. That way you kind of know when you should add gas. All right, so you're just gonna slowly bring up the clutch, slowly, and then it starts to catch. So right here my car's catching and I'm not adding any gas and I'm moving and I push the clutch all the way back in put my foot on the brake you're gonna want to do that a couple of times just you know find that sweet spot roll forward a little bit just so you get the idea of where the clutch is where the clutch will engage you know just do it slowly because if you do it too fast you can stall it so just take your time just slowly raise your foot off the clutch once it hits that sweet spot keep your foot there clutch back in and brake put the car back into neutral. All right, now once you feel comfortable with where that sweet spot is, where the clutch engages and disengages, the next step we're gonna do is actually start to drive in first gear. In order to do that, we're gonna do clutch in, first gear, and then find that sweet spot. And now the car's starting to move, and I want to add just a little bit of gas. All right, now when I say a little bit of gas, I really do mean just a little bit. It doesn't take much to get the car going. Not just this particular car, any car, it doesn't matter. All right, so when I say a little bit of gas, I mean this much, you know, maybe up to a thousand, maybe a little bit more. That's good. Woohoo! This is not good. You don't, you don't want to do that. You'll burn your clutch out really fast and that'll just be bad. You don't want to do that. Again, clutch out, clutch out, sweet spot, add just a tiny bit of gas and then take your foot all the way off the clutch and now you're moving. Now, once you're moving, it is just like a normal automatic car. You're in gear, your foot is no longer needing to be on the clutch. You can accelerate like normal though further down you push on the pedal, the more speed you'll gain, the more acceleration you'll get out of the car. And if you take your foot off, you'll start to slow down. Now in lower gears, like say first and second, if you are not progressive and you just you kind of stab the throttle and then take off, it's gonna be very jerky. Um, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be a smooth thing. So just be delicate with it and just add small, subtle inputs. And now another thing is, is that you need to start, you need to get used to stopping and starting. So once you do that, just and you're rolling in first gear with your foot completely off the clutch, clutch back in, all the way down, brake, put the car back into neutral, and then start over again. Because you need to get used to, because that's the hardest part is stopping and starting because you forget that sometimes you're in a manual and you just put your foot on the brake and then bam, you stalled your car. And getting going, you know, it, it takes practice to get it smooth. So once you've gotten decent enough with that and smooth enough to where you can move on from a stopped position, 
and actually get into first gear. Now we're going to talk about um, just some good tips on what you need to do in order to, you know, make the gear changes after you, once you get out of first uh, smoother. So when you're uh, when you're moving, and once you're trying to get out of first, so you hit 10 miles an hour, and then you just simply depress the clutch all the way, and move the shifter from first to second. Typically a good rule of thumb once you're actually on the move is every 10 miles an hour change gear or go up a gear. So like uh, for instance 10 go to second and then uh, 20 go to third and so on and so forth. That's pretty much it. For most cars it works. I mean it's worked so let's see in an F-Type it's worked in a this car it's worked in a Miata and a Wrangler so it's just a good rule of thumb to help you understand what you need to do until you get the basics down and then you can kind of figure out what speed you need to do it and what RPMs and what, what it sounds like when you need to shift and then mesh the two together that's what you want to do you want to mesh them together um, so you want to take the clutch all the way all the way out and then about halfway you know you start adding just a little bit of gas like we talked about earlier just a little bit It'll make each transition smooth. Now, what I mean by meshing is clutch, and then as you're bringing it out, about where that sweet spot is, you just add just a tiny bit of gas, and then you take it off the rest of the way. So 20 miles an hour, you're gonna just depress the clutch, push it into third, and then mesh the two together. And then that's all it is, and then when you break, oh. Clutch in, foot off the gas, put it in neutral, and start to brake. Your foot completely off of the clutch. I'm still moving, but because I'm in neutral, um, the car isn't going to buck in and jerk. It's just because it's in neutral. It's not in any gear. And then you can just continue to brake from there. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the basics of um, how to drive a manual. Uh, it's just going to take some practice. It's going to take some repetition for you to get smooth and, you know, have nice, consistent gear changes. But... Like they say, practice makes perfect, and that's definitely the case for driving a manual, because sometimes, man, you just mess up. It happens. So, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a, a thumbs up and please subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them. And if you know enough people have a, uh, a question, I might make a second part to this video. But, yeah, guys, happy shifting. Take care.